Welcome to Firewall Fridays. Today we're going to make chickpea battered fritters. And the recipe comes from Najmie Badmanglij, one of the most amazing cookbook writers you've probably never heard of. She is my guru when it comes to Iranian food, but she also has this other amazing, amazing book of vegetarian recipes from the Silk Road. And this is where we got this one, and it's one of my favorites. Let's get started. For vegetables, we have a pretty wide variety of things. We got some zucchini, green beans, carrots, peppers. You can use green peppers. I've actually cut up some poblanos for a little bit of heat. thought that would be interesting. Carrots, sage leaves. I uh, have some uh, nice mushrooms, cucumbers. Yes, they can be fried and tofu, but you can use other vegetables as well. Cauliflower works really well. You can use asparagus stalks. You can really let your imagination run wild. I also want to show you quickly uh, the dipping sauce, which I made, which is very easy. All it is, is some seasoned rice vinegar and some chopped up cilantro. And here we have the ingredients for the actual batter. There are a couple of cups of chickpea flour. There's a little bit of rice flour. There is one finely chopped up jalapeno pepper. I took out the seeds and the ribs, so it'd be a little bit less spicy. If you like things really spicy, you can leave them in there. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we have baking powder, some um, sesame seeds, garam masala, uh, what is that? That is cumin seeds, and finally some salt. That's all gonna go into a bowl. We're gonna mix it up and then let that sit for about 20 minutes. Next, I'm just gonna dust all the vegetables with some rice flour. And this is gonna help to uh, let the, uh, the batter adhere better. Do that, mix them up a little bit. And then we'll go on to our next plate of vegetables. We have our oil pretty hot, about 375. That's a little bit hotter than typical uh, frying oil. And we're going to dip our vegetables here in the batter. Uh, kind of knock off any extra batter and then put them into the oil. Just make sure to do one sort of vegetable at a time because the cooking time is going to be different for the various vegetables. It's going to go pretty quickly. I can't give you an exact time. You're going to have to watch it and as soon as one side gets pretty dark golden brown, you're going to flip it over and it's going to take probably a little bit longer and then when it's pretty evenly gold, dark golden brown all around, it's ready to come out. Most of the vegetables are going to be done in about two or three minutes. Great, we are ready to plate. Uh, I wish you could be here to smell this. It is spicy. It smells spicy and pungent and herbaceous. And yet when you taste it, it's actually very light and the flavor is quite delicate. And even though it's fried food, you can really taste the individual flavors of the different vegetables. I'm going to crunch one of these a little bit later for you. You can just kind of hear it. And we're just going to have one of each variety of food here going around. Make sure to include these sage leaves are really kind of amazing. And I always feel that while the smells and looks beautiful, it needs a little bit of color. So just for color, you can go around and put a little bit of paprika around your plate like that. All right, there you have it. Some of Najime Badmanglij's amazing Bengali fritters. And as promised, the crunch. Enjoy!